think I just sneezed. <sighs> oh, that was close. What was that? Nitrous oxide. It could have been worse. Laughing gas? Well, I still have to finish my project. It's your fault it fell. I'm not the one who has loose beakers of it in my creepy lair. Don't you have gas masks or any safety measures at all down here? I mean, this is why there are rules. They're here somewhere, just try not to breathe. Don't breathe? <laughs> Should I trust this? No, not that. What does that mean? It means we're locked down here for the next 30 years or until someone comes looking. What? It's the half-life of radioactive material. You don't have an eye flush station, but you have a nuclear spill protocol? Danger. Okay, I'm calling Marcus. <laughs> don't bother. There's no service. But the fair starts in one hour. I still have to figure out nuclear fusion. Trust me, one hour would not make a difference. And the speed of sound? At 68 degrees Fahrenheit, the speed of sound in the air is around 767 miles per hour. Wow, so the words leaving my mouth make it to your ears in, wow, like a super fast time? Precisely. Wow, what's it like knowing everything? I may have rapid access to a lot of information, but I don't know much of the important stuff. I think you have more humanity than most of the kids in this school. Scarlett's really lucky. Yeah. I'm her ticket to first place. You're a lot more than that, and I'm sure she knows it. Hey, Marcus, where's Monica? The fair is in an hour, and I'd expect she'd be set up by now. Why would I know? <laughs> because you're very clearly dating. Well, I, um, I have no advice, but, um, Hang in there. Yeah. Should we be worried about Scarlett? Someone's gonna notice we're missing eventually, right? I mean, what about your friends? As you pointed out on many occasions, I don't have any friends. I pushed them all away. What about Marcus? We're not really on the best terms. He wasn't really up for me spying on you and then erasing your friends, so... Got it. So he's not a psychopath. Why would you do this? Well, I don't know. So we could finally beat you with something? Great. Now we're both gonna miss the science fair. I hope you're happy. Thrilled! Nowhere else I'd rather be than stuck in a subterranean lab with my sworn enemy when I could be out there achieving my dreams. Hmm. You're not supposed to eat in the lab. My lab? My rules. Not for long. As soon as we're out of here, I'm gonna report you and all the 18 lab violations I've counted thus far. Great. So I'm gonna get kicked out of school without ever going to a school dance or holding hands with someone. Oh, boo-hoo. You created an element at age six. There's a plaque. I've worked hard my whole life and I still haven't done anything worth remembering. But you're Monica. You're brilliant, ambitious, a little scary, but still somehow popular. You have everything. Everyone knows that. Really? You think that? I guess you're dumber than I thought. You want a starburst? It'll help. My mom used to always give me a starburst after a big test. Mine too. I'm so sorry, Monica. This is totally my fault. No, it's my fault. I shouldn't have been jealous. Well, it appears that Kyle is the only one who completed a project, and apparently I'm a failure of an educator.
was cute. You guys came. I'm so sorry. I was prepared to spend the next 30 years down here. Speak for yourself. I knew Marcus would come sooner or later. Mm -hmm. Don't be so sure. You were acting pretty crazy. But when I saw Scarlet was missing, me and my friend, I mean, robot. Robot is fine. OK, cool, just making sure. We were putting our heads together. And well, actually, Kimmy figured it out. Thank you, Kimmy. I'm sorry I was a jerk earlier. I owe you one. No, you don't. For the record, I joined your group to get to know you, not get an A on some project. Well, that's good, because it turns out my project isn't actually a project. If you present me, you can change the entire field of AI technology, be guaranteed international stardom, and win the science fair. I'd rather have you as a friend. Well, even without presenting Trey, your Starburst presentation is one of the most impressive projects I have ever seen. I was so focused on beating you that I didn't even finish. I think we can do something better, actually. How much time do we have, Trey? 22 minutes and 42 seconds. Well, congrats, Kyle, I guess. Wait! Sorry we were late, Dr. S. Had a last minute change of plans. Wait, what's, what's happening? Why are you two cooperating with each other? Wait, is, is this a mutiny? No, we decided to combine our projects. By using Scarlet's finding on the Starburst and my research on mini nuclear fusion, we created a mini nuclear fusion machine. By hitting the Starburst in this device, we created an actual Starburst fusion. Marcus, lights please. Trey, hit us with a beat. Go ahead, Kimmy. <sighs> to enjoy a starburst makes us human. But the first starburst made everything. They created an array of elements that evolved into far more than what you'd think a bunch of molecules could be. And whether we're human or a robot, we're all made up of that starburst matter. And we all matter. Oh my god. I mean, wow. If I'm not mistaken, you've just modeled the birth of our universe, which is equal parts impressive and, well, philosophically concerning. But unfortunately, you didn't fill out the requisite worksheet. So with that said, the first prize goes to Kyle by default. What? what?